Hello and welcome to Songs for the Struggling Artist, the blogcast. This is episode 219. And this episode is sort of a direct sister to uh, the one about power. Uh, So if you haven't listened to that episode, I actually recommend you listen to that one first because this one sort of follows on its heels a little bit. Um, it's not like you won't know what's going on, but, uh, maybe you, maybe after you listen to this one, you want to go back to listen to that one. They are related to each other. Um, that one being about being in a place where I lost power for a week. Um, and this one being about when I, in a different place where I lost internet for nearly a week, not quite a week, but close. So, um, they are... They are tied together by my experience, but not by the location. (laughs) There's also a reference to another previous blog uh, in the middle of this here where I talk about the Link NYC columns. Uh, I mentioned those in um, a piece called uh, You're Late, I'm Late, Let's Get to Work. Uh, They are these kind of... um, I don't know. Yeah, they're columns with like advertisements and sayings and sometimes important information that they they print on the side of them. And they are, of course, surveillance devices. <laughs> uh, but they also provide free internet, sort of. Uh, so, yeah. So that that is uh, referenced as well. And if you would like to read more about them, hear more about them, check out that episode also. Um, this one is bringing, bringing the episodes together. <laughs> so without further ado, I shall read to you. And then the internet went out. While I was polishing up my blog about the power outage, I googled Tropical Storm Isaias to double check I was spelling it correctly. The request timed out, but I figured it was just this thing the Wi-Fi does in our apartment where it gets moody about the distance between my computer and the router. After bringing it closer and then plugging in the Ethernet cable and switching everything off and on again a million times, I had to accept that there was no internet. I found it ironic that I was trying to post a blog about the power of power in which the power of the internet played a role and could not, because while I did have electricity, I had no internet access. The next day, the company said it would be fixed by 5 p.m., and then within 24 hours, and then by 5 p.m. the following day. Concurrent to all this, my phone had begun to switch itself off at every opportunity and would only rarely turn back on for a moment or two. My access to the world beyond my physical presence was largely cut off. I didn't know what to do. Every task I thought about tackling seemed to require the internet. I spent the first couple of decades of my life living in a world without internet. It was fine. There were a lot of great things about those times. Why was it so impossible now? Late Monday night, in order to maintain my weekly podcast posting, I realized I could potentially access the internet via these Link NYC things, the structures we call propaganda sticks. I was 100% sure they were a privacy nightmare in addition to being corporate tools, but I had a deadline. So I took my laptop and a little stool I'd bought for a cowboy clown show I made a few years ago and went to sit next to the Link NYC column. Just as soon as I'd gotten the blog posted, I saw this stream of liquid emerge from the other side of the column. Some guy was pissing right next to the thing like it was a tree in the woods, and his piss was flowing downstream right in front of me. The splash got very close to me, and I scooted quickly away, swearing loudly. I found a new spot, closer to the closed-up Greek travel agency office behind me. Later, as I got the two podcasts uploaded, the guy from the Mexican restaurant next door brought me some chips and salsa, because he liked my setup. 
There's a way that having to go out into the street to reach the wider world really put me in touch with the immediate world in ways both pleasant and unpleasant. When the real physical world was all I had, it all got very physical, very fast. In wrestling with my world without internet, in addition to pushing me out into the street, I found myself really noticing how blended my creativity and the sharing of it had become. I could practice a song. I could even record a song and podcasts. But without the internet, all that could go no further than the room they were made in. We finally got a a little green light suggesting our internet was back, but in various computer tests, the signal would go no further than the internet company itself. It's as if we could communicate a tiny bit, but we could only reach one person. And even then, it was just to wave. There could be no meaningful discourse. There's something about this limited signal that I found poignant. It felt a bit like my entire artistic career. I make something and put it out, but only a few people have the tech to receive it. We have these internet-connected light bulbs, for example, which I was astonished to discover could still work, even with the area outages preventing us from interneting. It turns out it's because they're local. They communicate just within our apartment. But we cannot reach beyond our local network. Our internet problem is a communication problem. It cannot take us beyond our apartment. And a lot of my struggles as an artist are similarly about an inability to get beyond my apartment. The work makes it around the apartment, no problem, and even to a few points beyond. But the signal always seems to run into an obstacle somewhere. Out there in the physical world, I do all right. I might get pissed on occasionally, but I also get free food and warm greetings. In the internet world, which more and more, given the lockdown, seems just as real, there are many places I can't reach. And like power, when someone is without the internet, their lack is invisible. To the one who has been cut off, it feels as though they're cut off from the bulk of the world. But the world will never notice their absence. The local is the only bit that remains. It can involve piss and salsa, but it is real. And where the action actually is. We do have internet now, and I very much appreciate it. It is a wonder of the world, and I am very grateful for it and electricity. Hooray! Uh, Yeah, so uh, if you're wondering what happened to the blog that was between this one and the previous, um... I took it down, and so I'm not doing a podcast of it. I mentioned it, I think, in the previous blogcast. Um, so you're missing a uh, Cuban song I would have done for you for that one. Um, but I had a special request to um, remove it, about which I have feelings. But, uh, you know, sometimes being a good person is better than being a writer, I think. I don't know. It's complicated, right? Anyway, that that one, um, if you are a patron, you still have access, but everyone else, I'm sorry. You can no longer see it. So today's song is uh, going to be Wild World by Cat Stevens, because it's a wild world out there, right? <laughs> Um, so I, I, I know, I know the song, you know, from singing it, but I had never played it before, I don't think, or if I have played it, I played it 20 plus years ago. So, um, it's both old and new to me at the same time. Uh, and, you know, it seemed right for like the funniness of how going out into the world led to me being 
uh, almost piston and uh, given free chips and salsa, um, like the wildness of the world out there in a very like urban way. Um, so that seemed right. And then just like in working on the song, like in looking at the lyrics and it is, it's, I'm sorry, but it's like, it's like a little bit dark, this song. Like I start to feel like, is this guy trying to gaslight this lady? <laughs> like this is a tactic that I know a lot of abusers use that they try and convince the the abused person that they can't survive with them out in the world and that you know that the the abuser is the protector like it's totally a strategy that is used by really crappy people and uh it made me think less of cat stevens for a minute but i decided i was just not gonna go there because i mean come on the man wrote peace train please don't 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 let Cat Stevens be Mr. Me Too. Anyway, I yeah, there's just something about it that to my ear now is like, really? And why is she like a child, Mr. Stevens? <laughs> Tell me about this. But if I I I I don't mean to plant the seed for you listening to it like this, but now I can't stop listening to it like that. And so I you know. I I had to sh I had to share. I'm sorry. I hope it I hope it's not too upsetting for you, uh, and and, and uh, that you'll enjoy the song anyway because it is a wild world full of piss and salsa. So, you know, it is it is a wild world out there. I'm not sure I'm going to remember anyone like a child except for maybe some children, but you know it it, it he's not wrong. It is a wild world. Anyway. That's why I decided to do it, but it, uh, I have had a, a ride with it. <sighs> yeah. So thank you for listening to the blogcast. And uh, if you would like to support it, uh, you can become a patron on Patreon, patreon.com slash Emily R. Davis. There's Kofi. There's also PayPal. Those links are all in the show notes. It is such a delight when a little surprise like that comes in. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Uh, also, you could tell someone about the podcast, recommend it. You could, uh, oh, five stars are really very good on the on the Apple, Apple podcast. Reviews are nice. All those things are good. So if you feel like sharing or boosting, that's awesome. Thank you for listening. And uh, without further ado, I shall give to you Cat Stevens. Wild World. Now that I've lost everything to you, you say you want to start something new, and it's breaking my heart. And a lot of nice things turn bad out there Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world It's hard to get by
la 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 Baby, I love you, but if you wanna leave, take good care. Hope you make a lot of nice friends out there. Just remember there's a lot of bad and beware. Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. It's hard to get by just upon a smile. Always remember you like a child girl. Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. It's hard to get by just upon a smile. Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. Always remember you like a child girl.